Hey guys, it's Linux next year, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at what is new with kernel 6.13, as it has released uh, yesterday, I think it was, and uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, what is new in this release. So this kernel release is like, when it comes to the feature side of uh, the, the new features in the kernel, it ain't that much, I would say, but there is some important ones in this that do matter for some hardware. Like, if you own an RDNA 3 card, uh, you now have a zero RPM feature for your fans. So at a certain point, you can tell it to turn off the fans, uh, either in uh, a LACT, which is a overclocking tool, or uh, in a terminal probably, you can probably do it that way, or maybe even in core control, they're probably gonna implement that as well. And this feature wasn't done by an AMD developer. It was done by some random uh, Linux developer, nothing really to do with like working with AMD or whatever, and he just wanted this feature to be you know, included in RDNA 3 cards because it's available on Windows, uh, but the AMD developers uh, didn't bring that feature over on Linux for some reason. Don't really know why. So now it is available in 6.13, which is really good to see. So if you do own an RDNA 3 card, you're going to be able to get this feature. And the other feature for AMD cards, or not really a feature, but more of a fix, is to do with the power profiles to be more aggressive. So if you are using 6.13, you shouldn't have any problems with your AMD card when it comes to playing games because it's going to use by default the 3D full screen power profile. And that means that you'll get better performance, you'll get less stuttering, frame skipping, you know, of course you'll get higher power draw. So if you're someone that uh, doesn't want to deal with uh, the highest power profile, of course you can change it in something like LACT or core control, for example. But it's really good that this has arrived because there's been many Reddit posts and there's been many uh, comments of issues and people are like, oh, my games are terrible. Uh, they're performing really bad on Linux on my AMD card. And I'm like, well, is your power profile on the max? And they don't know what I'm talking about. And then they do that and then it fixes the problem. So really good that this is, has finally arrived in 6.13. And another important one I would say is to do with 3D VCAC. There is a new optimizer driver that is in 6.13. So if you have an X3D processor, you're going to get some nice improvements for this driver. Uh, basically, this driver, it has two modes that it can switch between now. Uh, it says Ryzen X3D processors with 3D vCache for some complex dies, but not all can now have a bias set under Linux, whether it should be optimized for frequency mode or cache mode. When the 3D vCache optimizer driver is set to frequency, mode cores with the faster ccd are prioritized over the larger, larger cache but lower clocked ccd alternatively the cache mode of the 3dv cache optimizer driver sets the preference to cores within the ccd where there is a larger l3 cache before the ccd with a smaller l3 cache so it is really good to see that there is a, uh, a new driver that's going to improve the 3dv cache if you have an x3d ryzen processor i don't so i be able to see if this is you know a good improvement for me because uh, i have a ryzen 7600 but if you do have an x3d processor you're going to get these uh improvements and the work does continue when it comes to the drm panic support so for nvidia or the novu side uh this is going to be merged in 6.13 or is in 6.13 and uh it's like i said it's only for the novu kernel driver so it's not for the proprietary one uh so if you do have a crush with the proprietary one this probably won't show up because it's meant only for the novu as i'm reading this but when it comes to the other gpus like amd that is going to be coming in 6.14 but if you are someone who just uh uses the novu and like nvk driver uh then yeah you'll get this drm panic if you have a, a kernel panic that happens this qr code will show up and it will have uh, the logs already like provided for you and it'll direct you to the right place to report it uh really cool i would say now when it comes to if you own a dell or AMD Alienware laptop, especially an Alienware X series, M series, and Dell's G series laptops, there is going to be a new platform profile support that is going to improve 
the thermals because what they've done is they've tried to reverse engineer the alienware firmware that's on windows which dell doesn't provide any information or documentation on how that driver works on windows so they've had to reverse engineer it and try and bring those features that are over on windows over to linux with their own driver so as you see the wmi device wmax has been implemented for many alienware and dell's g-series models throughout these models two implementations have been identified the first one used by older systems deals with hdmi brightness rgb amplifier and deep sleep control the second one used by newer systems deals primarily with thermal overclocking and gpio control it is suspected that the latter is used by alienware command center to manage manufacture predefined thermal profiles the alienware wmi driver exposes thermal information and thermal control methods through the platform profile api to mimic awcc's behavior this newer interface name awcc method function has been reverse engineered as dell has not provided any official documentation we will try to describe the to the best of our ability it's discovered in our workings so this driver is going to basically improve when it comes to um, thermals overclocking and gpio control so if you do own any of these laptops and you're using 6.13 you're going to get a better experience Experience when it comes to how the thermals are handled on those laptops uh, and just overall like overclocking and and all that will just be a lot better and if you do own a corsair void headset you are finally going to be able to get actual information on what your battery is on that headset some other things like side tone setting physical microphone location reporting headset and receiver firmware version reporting and built-in alert triggering and usb wireless status handling which is quite nice to see so if there's some uh, uh custom linux gui application that is out there that could implement this they probably can now because of those drivers or if it's like a desktop environment that offers like um kind of like you go into the desktop settings and it shows um reporting of different like bluetooth devices even though that's not bluetooth it's probably 2.4 gigahertz with its own dongle so maybe that won't work but if there is a gui application it probably will be able to see all of that stuff now for you and you'll be able to know what the battery status is you know or the headphone location or you know any other things like built-in alert triggering and usb wireless status all of that and then also intel has began uh working on xe3 graphics in 6.13 uh so if you're someone that's interested in the next intel graphics cards then you should know that you know the intel developers are working on it right now and should be good when it comes to the outer box experience by the time x3 xe3 actually does come out with the next graphics cards and then another one if you own an intel art card i know there's some people uh in the comments that do own one some of the viewers that watch there is finally the gpu package temperature so you can look at the temperature of your card now cool you know intel could have done this when the arc cards first came out but for some reason they didn't do that don't know why uh but the uh fan speeds uh came out in 6.12 as you can see here uh so that was good and now there's actually a gpu temperature support on the arc cards you know that's Good job, Intel. You, you finally did the two uh, kind of like important things when a you know, power user wants to look at what, uh, you know, fan speed and, and GPU temperature their card is doing. You know, that would be really good to see that information. And you finally done it. You know, good job. Good job, Intel. And the last one for kernel 6.13, I would say, is to do with a bigger slash super pages for the Raspberry Pi graphics driver, which brings better performance in certain games or applications so as we can see here with the broadcom v3d kernel driver with linux 6.13 is set to see big and super pages support this effort has been months in the making and is around one mb super pages support in the v3d driver and at 64 kilobyte big pages to better the graphics performance these larger page sizes are supported by the broadcom v3d mmu and allows caching in the mmu the bigger pages and super pages can help with the performance for games slash apps having high memory requirements the big slash super pages support for v3d can yield as much as 22 percent 
faster performance for some software on the Raspberry Pi 5. This Raspberry Pi improvement was sent in last week as part of the initial DRM MISC next changes targeting the Linux 6.13 kernel. There is also some A and Neo panel quirks as part of that pull request that are worth mentioning while the other early changes are mostly small patches. So if you do own a Raspberry Pi 5 or any other kind of like Raspberry Pi device, you should be able to get up to like 22% faster performance on 6.13 because of these bigger super pages that are in that driver. So I would say that is it for kernel 6.13. Not many things arrived in 6.13. We don't have as many tabs um, open for 6.13, but uh, there was some important improvements and fixes to just like the AMD stuff. Plenty of AMD stuff, some Intel stuff, some like hardware like Corsair, Void headset support, and some driver improvements for, you know, Raspberry Pi stuff. Yeah, like 6 or 14 has way more things that are arriving, I would say, especially things like the NT-Sync driver. That's going to be interesting to see because uh, I know a lot of people, including me, who would really like to um, use it at its final form in 6 or 14, if it arrives in 6 or 14, uh, and see if it actually is better than f -Sync, which it should. It should be better. So that does it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, I would definitely give it a like. I would definitely subscribe to the channel, and I would like to know your thoughts about uh, 6 or 13 is if there's anything that I missed in this video that you were like excited about definitely comment down below and thank you to my supporters I'll show a screenshot of you now and I'll see you guys in the next video peace